Hello there everyone, my name is Galaxy Lynx and welcome to Green Hell, a survival game with a story, also its own survival mode, but today we will be focusing on the story mode. So let us start it up, so single player story and we'll go for normal difficulty. So we'll set up our save and let us go. Hello there guys, a quick interruption from the future. The vocal recordings for this series is a little funky at times, leaving vocals sounding a bit like this. The full explanation will be on screen now if you want to pause and read it. I'll be dubbing over important bits, re-recording the game isn't possible, and I have now fixed this for the future. So we'll just quickly go through the tutorial, going over the basis of who we are, why we're here, and what is happening. Okay, I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah, you can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? <laughs> you can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. Um, what exactly? The gear should already be at the camp. You will know when the time comes. Patience. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. So that down there is Mia Higgins. We are da Jake. Jake? We are Jake Higgins, Dr. Jake Higgins. We are an anthropologist and Mia is a linguist, if I remember correctly. Oh, uh, have you tied down Let's the boat? Let's them talk. See. Jake, um, <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still? Still. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Thing I have an anthropologist at hand. There you go. Dr. Higgins. So yes, we are in the middle of the Amazon. We are, I believe, Mia is off to meet with one of the tribes. There's pages inside the tent that have a little bit more detail, which I will have a quick look through and read over for you all. But in the meantime, welcome to Home Sweet Home. Okay, found the tent. Is everything all right? Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. So we are now on to day two. Well, that's everything. We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. Yep. <laughs> Use your imagination. Nope. Okay, so we've got the tent set up, we've got some nice cans, as well as some information. So we have this, so you've got the Lost Tribe. This is their land, their heritage, as it has been for thousands of years. Everyone who comes here needs to respect this. 
It's been three years since we saw them last. They often react with fear to the unknown. It's crazy, but we really need their help. Our entire plan depends on it. What plan? We don't know yet. I don't know yet. Then we've just got some nice bits about the forest. So you've got your rainforest mammals, completely harmless. You've got your tapirs, your capybaras, and your armadillos. So basically that's our main food staple now. Then we've got the info about the poison dot throg throgs? Frogs. Poison dot frogs. This deadly amphibian on the planet is completely harmless for the natives, thanks to the Cambo ritual. South American tribes catch a living frog to extract the poison, then they puncture burned children's skin with small doses of frog poison until they become immune to it. And we've just got an audio recorder there as well. Dart frog, one of the deadliest amphibians on the planet, is completely harmless for the natives thanks to some kind of vaccination. The Jabahuaca, like many others, burn their skin and then puncture themselves administering small doses of frog poison. They keep repeating the process every once in a while to stay fully immune to it. It's barbaric for us, but it's an everyday routine for them. There we go. And what have we got here? The yup. Yeah. The Jabberwaka. Living deep in the interior of the Amazon, the Jabberwaka is one of the about eighty lost tribes. Due to fear of a modern and cruel world, they mostly remain isolated. Will they welcome us? They are the key and the only lead as to why we're here. Again, why are we here? I don't know. And then we got a nice poster about trees. <laughs> Okie doke, so welcome to crafting tutorial. So in our notepad we have basically everything. So you've got your objectives, this will be I think it's like the facts page. This is tools, plants that we know, uh, things that will affect your health. These are skills. So you've got various things, combat and non-combat. You've got two things for fishing. These are the craftings, or more crafting. So these are your mud buildings, these are just structures, fire, water, traps and shelters and other homey things. So in the meantime we just want to get a fire down and place it around a nice log. And now we need to get firewood, so we have a machete. I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet, uh, but it feels that way. It's the lighter. We're missing lighters, so we have to make our own. There you go, tree. Chop it down. Ta-da! And then you get various types of wood. So you got your sticks. Stick. 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 Long stick. But we don't need long stick, so we hit that and make it a small stick. Oh, normal stick. Hit another stick. And I think that's enough of those sticks. The logs. Chop them into planks and long sticks. But we don't need... So we put those into the sticks. But we don't need any more sticks. So we hit the sticks again. Or we can just expand and harvest. And get small sticks. Because we're having issues hitting it at the moment. And there we go, that should be enough, but we'll just get some extra just in case. There we go. Oh, I don't want that. Put me down. Although I am curious. Can I make something that I'm not supposed to? <laughs> Ordinarily that would make a bow. 
and we will need something as tinder in a moment because as Mia will reveal momentarily we don't have a lighter well, looks like everything's ready Mia can you bring me a lighter um remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment <sighs> don't tell me yeah we have no fire Ah, not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, the old-fashioned way, well, not the best start of the expedition. So, when we learn about new crafting things, we go to our notepad, and there we go. So, we can use a stick with a plank or small wood. A stick or plank and small stick. In this case, we have a plank, so we will get crafting. Move that over to our crafting stone that we have with us. I don't know where we just pick up a stone or what. A uh, small stick and craft hand drill. Mm. So now we this is in our dry. fire prep pocket. So we will use the hand drill, and then we will just grab the bird nest from the bag, and he will start making a fire. And then we have a little ember in our hands, and we ignite. Oh, Mia! The fire is burning. Coming! Give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but... Strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. I love you. If I had known where my ambition would lead us, if I knew it would put you in danger, I wouldn't have written that damn book. Yeah. And if everyone had that attitude, there would be no scientific progress whatsoever. Don't blame yourself. There might still be time to reverse the whole thing. And I love you too, Karina. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Okay, morning of day three, and where is Mia? Mia, oh my, oh my. Well, we have a nice note here. I'm at village. Call me with radio when you wake up. P.S. There's a little gift for you. Love, Mia. Yep. It's miserable outside, and our wife is gone. Hello. Mia. Mia. Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up. You left already. Why didn't you wake me up? Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. And we've got a present. Exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can worry you out. Tell me about it. 
so one of the unique things about Green Hell is that not only are you just got the only have you got the hunger and thirst meter, you've got various needs. So you've got protein, carbohydrates, fats, and hydration. So you need not only do you need to eat, you need to eat certain types of food. So in this case, we need protein bar. We need protein, so we eat the protein bar. Yum. Mm mm mm. Yum yum yum. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See, si. and as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Just be careful, please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. Okay, so we've got some new notes. Skull painted warriors. Mysterious painted warriors appeared yesterday on the riverbank as we floated by. Who are they? Our friends the Yabawaka so seem to be afraid to talk about them. So, skull guys, not good. Whereas the Yabawaka seem to be not painted. So, then we've got this one. Tobacco plant leaves are great for healing venom bites, but what else can they heal? I saw this plant on the north side of the camp. After climbing a rock, there are plenty of them. It's a good place to start. And there we shall go indeed. So on our smartwatch, not only do we have our needs, we have a compass and it functions as a watch. So north we go. A nice little element is that the, the water levels has have risen. Also, cleanliness of water. Not all water is going to be clear. Let's head on up. And up here we go. And I've just travelled 16 kilometres in total. Mia, I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Yasmio, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. So, Green Hell doesn't work on just a simple health bar you get certain types of injuries and when you get injured you need to find the injury and dress oh, it. In this case we have a scratch, scratch slash abrasion on our arm. So we'll just talk to uh, Mia. It's, it's alright. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? Yes. I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf, surrounded by yellow flowers. That's it. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. So back to our notepad. So we have our catalogue of leaves. In this case we've got the Molinaria. And in our ailments tab? health tab? I don't know what it is. We now have the scratch abrasion and known treatments. So here's your effect, like it reduces our condition which is the health here and if untreated it will become infected 
and if you have an infected wound, good chances are you will die. I've had it happen already. Right, so now that we've got our leaves, open up our menu again and craft to that one, to there, and leaf bandage. Then we get our inspect function, select the right limb, and bandage. And then we have our little bandage icon there. And we'll tell Mia that we're Here fine. All wrapped up nicely. Mm. Does it hurt? Not much. Um, not much. We're a manly mom. Good. Hopefully it will heal fast. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Jake, please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please, please answer me. Mia, what happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia! What the hell's going on over there? Alright, let's go! That is the tutorial slash prologue all done. Okay, right. So we've just woken Hello? up. Can anyone hear me? Let's see if anyone is around. <clears throat> I had an accident. I don't know what happened. Please, help. Over. Fuck. All right. No one. <laughs> All right, so... What happened? Where is Mia? We know that she called us from the tribe. What was she afraid of? And we were running from something. It is the 33rd day of the expedition, or at least we think it is. The notebook is completely drenched. We don't have any supplies and Mia is not responding to us, which is a bit of an issue. So our objective is to find help. Let's get started. <laughs> so as we go along, we're going to be picking up pretty much anything that we can find. So these sticks, yes please. These bananas, thank you very much. Big stick. Rope. Another stick, thank you very much. And there should be some big rocks, there we go. Harvest them. A 
there we go and we'll start crafting our first tools so we get two stones a oh dear, a stick put that back up and a rope and we make an axe <coughs> And take two stones, make a blade. I think that's it for basic tools that we can do for the moment. So we shall carry on. Oh, we've got a snake just there. We shall leave the snake alone. What's that noise? Oh, it's an armadillo on mud. <laughs> we just grab that and now we're dirty <laughs> if I remember correctly these mushrooms are a-okay to eat and we got some poison dart frogs don't touch them they will kill you and just check the rivers for stingrays. There it is. Those will hurt. And here we go. We've got the first tribal village. We can find some very nice things around here. Starting off with a burnt backpack and map. Or at least what's left of it. And some books. Well, what remains of a book. Pick up the charcoal, that would be very good if we get poisoning. The bone knife. It's also a trap just over here. With a spider! Ew. But now we know how to make a trap. Oh, and a dead macaw, amazing. Uh, normally it wouldn't be good, but we can harvest the feathers from it. And we can't make our first weapon, if you don't count the axe as a weapon. Got the dryer. So we do, we go up to the long stick craft. And we add rope and we have a bow. <coughs> and then we will continue crafting, so we take the bird feathers. Add in a stick arrow and we just keep doing that oops wrong one and it's going to rain there we go so we've got a bow and three arrows uh, by the looks of it, we don't have any nearby coconuts, which would have been good because then we could have started collecting water while it rained. Anyway, so let's check out the map. Man. Lambda 2. Doesn't ring a bell. So we are here. Lambda 2 is over there. Not too far away. We shall take it on the notepad. So we've learned some things, but nothing really of use at the moment. So yes, we found a village. Well, it's, is this the village? Where is everyone? There's no sign of natives or mere burnt backpack, book, notes and map. Who does it belong to? And then we have our next quest prompt. We need to make the memory potion. So let's get started with that. We can't make a fire now, but we can at least get the ingredients ready for it for the fire and the potion. So, get more of this. This is the bark that we need. But while we're at it, we'll get some mushrooms. And they are Brazil nuts as well, which are very, very good. So I believe there is three around this tree. There it is. So yes, very good for I think it's fats and sanity because there's a sanity meter why wouldn't there be these mushrooms are also very good for getting rid of parasites so if you have to drink dirty water you just eat those mushrooms right after and it's all good but it's still better to get a 
you know, a clean source of water. And I believe this plant is good for poisoning. I need to find that. Psychosis berry. They're generally not too far away from the village. Plenty of capybara though. <laughs> Where is it? Oh! It's a spider! Not touching that. I'm <laughs> not touching that either. running away with my arrow. There we go, headshot. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drying out the meat because we are going to be going on major exploration soon. And I could really do with the supplies if I can find the body there. Okay, now that's all disgustingly done. We are very overweight. With bones. We are of course now absolutely filthy. And <laughs> we've got a coconut and now we're overweight again. No thank you, Spider. But at least with it raining now, the dirt will wash off by itself. I'll just make one of the bones some needles. And we'll carry on our way. So we'll put the meat out to dry. And then we'll go to bed, but first I just want to wash myself off. Because we always should go to bed clean. We'll just power walk over to the dryer. Because we are very over encumbered. Okay. So get the bag out. Go to foods and meat. So these will slowly dry now. We'll harvest that as well. Harvest the flesh out. And what we can do now is... That's not what I wanted. Go back to our bag. These and coconut bowl. <coughs> Open it up again and coconut bowl. There we go. So now when it rains, these will collect water. Also going to get the fire. Just under there, there we go. And we've got plenty of small sticks. And not enough large sticks, but that's okay. We can do the rest in the morning. So we'll just go over to the hammock here and go to sleep.